Okay, for this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use the difference quotient. Um, the difference quotient is f of x plus h minus f of x over h, where h can be any real number except for 0. Um, with this, this is primarily used in calculus, and before you start learning about derivatives in calculus, you've got to understand the difference quotient. Um, my college algebra class uses the difference quotient, so um, that's why I have included it in here, is so that they can have an explanation. So with this, basically what we're going to do is the difference quotient tells us that we're just going to take f of x plus h. So that's telling us that in our f of x equation, we want to replace x with x plus h. And then we're going to subtract from it the original function. Okay, so if we look at this first part right here, it's telling us that wherever there is an x in the f of x equation, we are going to, instead of writing x, we are going to write x plus h. So I'm going to do this first part in this blue color so that you can see this whole expression. So I would just write 4, instead of the x, I'm going to replace it with x plus h, and then the 3 stays as well. Okay, so this is the f of x plus h part. As far as the f of x part goes, this part right here is just the original equation. So my original equation is 4x plus 3, so I would just put minus 4x plus 3. We aren't making any changes, we're just writing the equation as it is. And we have divided by h. Now all we have to do is simplify. So to simplify, I would take and plug 4 into both of these. So I end up with 4x plus 4h plus 3. And then we would distribute our negative into the second one. So we would have minus 4x minus 3. And this is all going to be over h. And now it's just a matter of simplifying the top part. So if we simplify the top part, we can see that 4x minus 4x cancels out. 3 minus 3 cancels out, and every term that you should left, have left should have an h in it. So I have 4h divided by h, and then I can simplify this, and it would give me 4. And if you get into a pre-calc class, you'll move, or sorry, into a calculus class, you will move more into what this is actually done for, um, and how it helps you to find derivatives. But for now, all I wanted to do was to be able to show you how to use the difference quotient. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.